Welcome to Lithium Resource. I'm Steve. I am Steven. It's not really Steve-o, so, uh, but I am Steve-o, the window cleaner. We are going to talk about a, a fun squeaky that not a lot of people talk about. There's not a lot of videos out there about it, but when it's used correctly, it's a very, very useful tool. And that is... Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. The Unger Zero Degree Squeegee. The Unger Zero Degree Squeegee, I just had the Unger S channel in it. Um, it locks right there, kind of similar to the Unger Ninja handles. And then you can adjust the looseness of this. You can adjust it where it's really floppy or you could seriously make it very tight. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys many ways to use it from straight pulls to fanning on a pole. I would not suggest using it by hand. I think um, it just doesn't have the correct angle for that. I usually want like a 30 degree or a 40 degree squeegee for that. And I'd usually use a wide body uh, channel or if I'm using like a 14 or under, I use a slim line channel. So let's just look at the many possibilities or the many different ways of using this squeegee. So here's the situation where the zero degree really comes into play. Um, I have a large area here where I cannot walk and I'm gonna clean that window. Um, this is the rehabilitation place we do. And to clean that window is pretty hard with a regular like 30, 40 degree squeegee. So I, I can't walk on this stuff here. So the zero degree, Makes it really easy. I'm not going to fan it. I'm just going to straight pull it. So a very light touch. That's the nice thing about this tool. So it's a light tool too, so it doesn't bend your pole too much. You can just get it perfectly. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to detail the sides there. You tell, I like to go from the top to the bottom on that side. The sun's not gonna come through this so really much. It's not gonna worry about doing too crazy. And then your ledge. So sometimes you can um, be in an office with a bunch of partitions and you need to fan with the zero degree squeegee. So I just want to show you a couple of techniques. One, dive bombing the side and one, just fanning the whole thing smoothly like you would by hand. And I'm going to show you on this pane.
So as you can see, those techniques can be really valuable in an office setting where you have to get over a desk or in a restaurant setting where you need to get over a table. So those are the two techniques I suggest as far as banning a window with the Unger zero degree squeegee. So the only con that I can really think of with the um, Unger zero degree handle is that to change your rubber, I mean, you have to get to unscrew these while holding on to the back. So that can, that takes a while. That's my only con to the actual handle. Where like the, you know, Mowerman accelerator, if you're using that for like your zero degree handle, which is a 10 degree angle, that is very easy to change out. And then the Toy Contour Pro Plus handle, which is a um, handle that can be like 40 degrees or zero degrees. That one is super easy to change out the channel as well. But this one just takes a little bit of work. It's not as easy to do out on the job, so I'm doing it in the morning before you go out. So one of the things you don't really want to use the Unger um, zero degree handle for is for stuff like this up here. So if you're gonna do something like this with that channel, you're gonna have to do side pulls. So, but we're not gonna use it for like up and down pulls. I'll show you why. It's just not going to get down to the bottom. You can see on that top cam what I'm talking about there. You're just not gonna get a good angle and you're not gonna be able to lift it up enough here at the end to really get it correctly. So if you did that, you would have to do side pulls, but I don't suggest doing side pulls either. And I'll show you why, is that when you're doing side pulls this high, you leave the possibility of not getting down to the very bottom or the bottom rubbing up on the seal there and not getting all the way flush to the bottom. So that's the reason why with ledges like this, you want to use a 30 degree or 40 degree handle to get down to the very bottom. This is a 30 degree. See there, I'm getting down to the bottom of the frame. So that's one of the things you do not want to use the longer zero degree handle for. And of course the one thing I include in every video is it can fit on my favorite pole, the Unger Optolog pole. I would definitely suggest, so let's see, locks on right there. I would definitely suggest using a pole like this when using this type of tool and not using a pole with like a wood tip or something that can't lock on because it will allow you to get those good angles, be able to fan with it. So I definitely suggest using a pole like this over anything with a wood tip. All right, so we've gotten to see me use the Unger zero degree squeegee, swivel squeegee. Um, so just a couple final thoughts on it. It is great for windows that are straight out in front of you, such as office partition windows, um, windows that are you know over large bush areas. You saw me at the home where there was a large um, area where the basement went down into and it was hard to put a ladder in there, so it was way easier just to squeegee them right from the area I was. In the uh, office settings, it's really easy over a desk, and in the commercial building that we saw, it was really easy over that large gap on the second floor there just to use that zero degree. The nicest thing about that zero degree squeegee is, is that when you're using like a 30 degree or 40 degree squeegee and trying to do maneuvers like that, you are really having to keep that blade, the rubber was what I mean by the blade, at the, at the correct angle the whole time. When you get to that bottom, you really have to either bend your pole or be at a lower angle than the window. So that zero degree squeegee allows you to be straight on with the window, not have to change your angle, 
and when you use a light touch with it, you don't really want to force a zero degree squeegee on the glass. You want to let the weight of the pole bring that squeegee down the glass and it will work perfectly. I found that times when I really tried to force that squeegee down with the pole, it would streak. But when I let the weight of it do the work, it was super easy, did a super good job. Um, other things that I could think of with it, um, the nice thing about it is that it's super light. The swivel on it never came loose as far as the turning mechanism that makes it tight or loose. That never came out, or I never made it loose enough for it to come out. I don't think you should have to. And I never used it by hand because that that's just not... That's, I don't think that's what it's made for. I would never use it that way. I tried it somewhere. It just doesn't, it's not meant for that. But those are my final thoughts on how to use the Unger Zero Degree Swivel Squeegee. If you have any questions about it, comment below. And remember to check back on Window Cleaning Resources YouTube channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for more videos from all of us here at Window Cleaning Resource. Have a great day, and we will see you later. Goodbye. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if you cry yourself to sleep without Stevo, check out his channel at Stevo the Window Cleaner on YouTube.